what happens when a transfer dies? It's a question that many football players have had to face. Take Hakeem Ziyech, for example. In January, he was on the verge of a lone move to Paris Saint-Germain, playing alongside the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi. But due to some paperwork issues, the transfer fell through, leaving Ziyech feeling angry and out of love with his current club. Chelsea returning to your club after a failed transfer can be tough. You have to face your teammates, train with them, and play alongside them. It's not easy to put the disappointment behind you and move on. Zeech tried to do just that, but he found himself sidelined for most of the season, with limited playing time. Now, with the summer transfer window open, Zeech is still unsure of his future. He's not the only one who has experienced the sinking feeling of a collapsed transfer. Josh King, for example, had the opportunity to join Manchester United in January 2020, but the move didn't materialize. It was a tough blow for King, who had dreamed of playing for his boyhood club. But he eventually moved on and continued to perform well for his team. Sometimes, a collapsed transfer can even lead to funny moments. Just ask Peter Odemwingi, who famously drove to Queen's Park Ranger Stadium on deadline day, only to be denied entry and sent back home. The incident was later mocked by his own team and even other players in the league. But not all players can laugh off a failed transfer. For some, it remains an unscratched itch. Jesse Lingard, for example, was desperate to join Newcastle in January 2022, but Manchester United refused to sell him to a potential rival. Lingard stayed at United, but his playing time was limited, and he eventually left the club. On the other hand, there are players who can look back at a failed transfer with a smile. Charlie Adam, for instance, was close to joining Liverpool in January 2011, but the move didn't happen. However, he eventually got his dream move to Liverpool in the summer. The January transfer window can be a roller coaster of emotions for players. It's a time of uncertainty, hope, and disappointment. But how you handle the aftermath of a failed transfer is what truly matters. It can be a test of character, but it can also be an opportunity for growth and resilience. So, what happens when a transfer dies? It may leave players feeling angry, disappointed, or even relieved. But in the end, it's how they bounce back from the setback that defines their career.